There are less people living in poverty in the San Antonio New Braunfels area. That's according to a U.S. Census Bureau data that was released today. The numbers show a 2.1 percent drop, which means a decline of nearly 39,000 people living in poverty. Stephanie Cerna spoke with one local workforce development program, which has helped people go from making about $9,000 a year to 42,000 a year and how they say their work is still not done. Oncology. Melanie Rodriguez says it has always been her goal to be a nurse, a way to honor her mother. She was diagnosed with mesothelioma cancer. Um, she was a fighter for 10 years and she passed away, um, but she would always go to her chemotherapy and tell all the nurses that her daughter is going to be a nurse. While pursuing nursing, Melanie found out about Project Quest, a workforce development program that focuses on people with low income jobs and through training connects them with higher demand, higher paying jobs. When we find them a job, we're not just finding one person a good job, we're finding their whole family a job and we're moving them up out of poverty. From financial help with books, a uniform and just moral support, Melanie says Project Quest was there for her and now she has been connected with a full time nursing job where she can provide for her two young sons. They really helped me with wisdom and encouragement because going through nursing and not having enough funds, that's not an easy thing to do. Project Quest directors say although the census numbers show poverty is down in the area, yeah, their work so is not over. That's encouraging. Uh, I don't think we can be complacent. Other organizations agree. That means people are getting help that they need and getting on with their lives. But we don't believe donations will decrease over here at United Way of San Antonio and Bear County just because there's always a need in our community. And Melanie tells us that she is very excited that she will be working as a registered nurse in the oncology department at Methodist Hospital. She starts her new job on October 17th. On the city's west side, Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News.